Now, Rank 10, level 1, and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spot Night series, where today we are having a look at the Fallout London Camelot Merc mod, which is being made by the Fallout London team. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is two wonderful new standalone items to show off a little bit more what we should expect from Fallout London when it releases next year. And these are some pretty wonderful items, as we do have ourselves a new outfit in the uh, Camelot mercenary outfit here, very good looking, as well as the new Fire Lance Shotgun. Two very awesome, fun new pieces that definitely fit into the world, and again, just a cool new sneak peek at what we're gonna get from Fallout London. So let's uh, jump on over here and have a look at what we do get with the Camelot Mercenary Outfit, which in its most standard and basic form will just offer you 30 physical damage resistance, though of course there are a number of linings you can add to this thing to give it even more than that, as well as a few other resistances, and all for a weight of 15. It is a singular piece of armor, but a fun one to have. Now then, as for the Fire Lance Shotgun, ah, oh, I love this thing, and it will do 56 damage with, of course, a shotgun shell, with a firing rate of 36, range of 35, accuracy of 16, and a weight of 9.5. Three. Not too bad there at all. And as you can see on this thing, it looks spectacular. I love that it's basically just a double barrel shotgun with a weird shroud over it that includes a crowbar as basically a bayonet. It's just weird and strange and I love it. And can, of course, be modified with not a huge number of modifications, but enough to make this thing more useful later in the game. And, of course, even switch up the damage that it does by changing its ammunition so you can do everything from, like, Dragon's Breath all the way to Solid Slugs. And with that, you can get some pretty good damage with this thing down the road. I'm not remembering what I got it to top out at without any perks, but we'll see that here in a little bit anyways. Now, as for how you get these two lovely items in the world, well, sadly, there's no non-cheaty way. Being just a demonstration and a sneak peek of what to expect from Fallout London, the one way to get this is going to be with console commands. But hey, that means you can get as many of these as you want so you can make your own little Camelot mercenary group here in the Commonwealth at one of your settlements, which would be pretty darn fun. But yes, I do wish we could get it in any non cheaty way, but eh, it works. Now, as for the modifications that we do have available for this thing, let's head on over to the weapon workbench first and take a look at the Fireland Shotgun where we have a first in the receiver category, pretty typical things from the standard to light, heavy, calibrated, etc. And with the advanced receiver, you can get this thing up pretty high, up to 113, and then that can be further modified with the ammo changes. Though I do like that there is also another standard receiver if you want this thing to look a bit shinier. You can literally just clean it with some Abraxo cleaner. <laughs> and then there you go. You have a clean standard receiver. I kind of wish we had that for the others as well, just so we could have a shiny but powerful gun. But, oh well, if you want clean, you're going to have to stick with standard there. Now, then in the barrel category, we've got either a sawed-off short or long barrel. And again, we either have that in the old rusted or clean once more with the Abraxo cleaner, which is why I, I really wish that we had the clean in the uh, receiver category too, because I mean, we've got both rusted and clean here for the barrels, it'd be cool to have that for the receivers too, but for now, oh well, still pretty cool that we at least got the option here. Now then, in the grip category, we've just got two things, whether the standard short or a makeshift stock, which I love because, I mean, come on, it's a freaking bicycle seat back there. That's just amusing and makes sense for the world we're in. So, very cool there, and of course, it's going to help with recoil. Now, the sight category is a bit lackluster, but then again, it is also a shotgun, so that's not too surprising. We have a standard glow sight reflex in either dot or circle, and that is really it. Now, and then finally, we have the ammo category here where you can add more damage or change up the damage a bit, where we've got either a standard shotgun shot, iron ball shot to help with your uh, damage, but drastically reduce your range. We also have the dragon's breath, a personal favorite of mine, because, I mean, come on, who doesn't want to light your enemies on fire? We then have a rebar shot that is going to increase range and damage, and I mean... 
which is cool to launch rebar things. And finally, the Metal Slug, which is going to give you the greatest boost to your damage and range. And uh, I think once you get this plus the best receiver, you're somewhere around 140 some odd. Again, we'll see it in a moment with my modified version that I do have it on display. And that's, of course, without any perks, so you can certainly get that up a little bit more if you have some of those. Now, as for the armor, it's a bit more lackluster here. We only do have the lining category, where we can choose either, well, the standard nothing, or go to insulated, treated, resistant, protective, or shielded, being, of course, the best there, with adding in some radiation and electrical protection as well. It's never going to be the most protective thing ever, but still not too shabby in the slightest. Lightest. and you do still have the opportunity to put some additional pieces of armor over top of this though not many there is if you'll notice when we go like we were already in the right tab there on the Camelot mercenary thing we've got the chest category taken as well as one of the arms and one of the legs so you still can put on some extra armor on your other arm and leg and of course head but yes the main <laughs> The main outfit here is just these three pieces, which is kind of intriguing. I don't think I've seen a piece of armor before that had some of the parts. It's usually an all or nothing thing, but hey, cool. You can still mix and match it up with a few other pieces of armor. Now let's go grab our modified versions over here of the guns and start doing some shooting with these and uh, just take a quick glance of the glory of our armor. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> just a quick look. I mean, it's armor. It's it's cool looking. That's that's what you want out of armor. All right, so let's take some shots with these fire lances and shoot. And there we go. Pretty typical. I mean, for animation for a double barrel shotgun, nothing too entirely strange there. Once you get into the swing of things, you can get it going a little bit quick. But of course, being a double barrel shotgun, it's never going to be the fastest shooting thing in the world. But I do like the gun overall. It has a cool look. I do also like when you do aim down sight as if it's like a little protective shroud. I mean, realistically, it wouldn't protect very much of you. But hey, still. It's interesting, and going for the whole lance aesthetic, it very much does make sense. Which also does make me feel like it's a little bit strange having the sawn-off version of the Fire Lance here. It seems like you'd really want to go just long, but eh, what are you going to do? <laughs> it is still pretty dark cool, and yes, it, it actually took me a surprisingly and disturbingly long amount of time to realize that that's what they were going for with the design. Oh yeah, it's a lance, of course it's going to look like that. <laughs> <laughs> but still, it's it's pretty cool. I really do like the look of it all. Now, whoop, whoop, did not mean to do that. Let us change over to the uh, Fire Breath one. And this is also one that I went entirely clean. So we've got the clean barrel and the clean receiver, which does look pretty darn good. Again, I wish we could get some more damage out of it with uh, the other receivers. But, oh well, at least with the barrels, it looks pretty great. And with the uh, long barrel on there, it definitely looks more the part for the whole Lance situation. Plus, it's kind of amusing that besides just with the long barrel, you don't just have the crowbar. You also get, like, a, a little knife on the end, too. <laughs> it's strange, but I like it. All right, so let's take some shots with this and light the target on fire, which, I mean, not really much lighting to be had with a non-organic target. But still, you can see those fire effects on there as it goes down range. It's just nice. All right, and let's do one with the slugs, and there we go with 145 is what I was able to top this thing out at without, again, any perks. If you do have anything that would modify that further, you can get it a little bit higher. So pretty good into, I'd say, the uh, mid to late game with this sort of damage on this thing. I wish he could have this damage along with the fire, but that's just a personal preference of mine because, I mean, come on again, who doesn't like Dragon's Breath rounds? They are just... Cool. But let's take a look at this thing in use against a target and spawn in our usual death claw. And uh, with this damage, hopefully it doesn't uh, go too badly. Where did I have the death claw in here? I think I just passed it. There he is. <laughs> oh boy, I've been doing a lot of commands today. Oh, I missed the first shot. Of course I did. Of course that is something I would do. But there we go. He's taking a bit of damage. Let's actually switch over to the fire one. 
to light him a bit. There we go. There we go. Get a little damage over time. Always excellent to have. And then back to the powerful one before he kills me. Oh, God. Oh, I missed that second shot. <laughs> okay, okay. With a better shot than me, you could do some good damage on target on this guy with this gun. Especially with the slug's range. You do have a bit more there, which is great. Which is why I do wish there was a few more sight options. Considering you do have the slug option, you can turn this thing into a pretty decent mid-range gun. Oh. oh, God. There he goes. He's down. Thank God. <laughs> and yeah, just all in all, they're two very fun additions to the game. I love the Fire Lance, especially. I think it's my favorite part of this mod. But the Camelot Mercenary armor is not too bad either. It certainly does look great. And again, it's just a great little sneak peek as to what we will do see in the future with the Fallout London mod that I just can't wait for. Well, hopefully you all have enjoyed this episode today. I need to come back for the next, but until that time, my friends, if you'd like to take a look at the mod, should mention that before I leave, almost forgot, you can look at the link in the description as per usual. But uh, yeah, hopefully you have enjoyed. You can come back for the next, but until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, we'll have a good one.